Hello and welcome back to Yukumo Village. So today we're going to be carrying on with the three star village quests. And um, hold on, before that, I actually have something to show you guys. So off camera, I just did um, uh, ooh, ooh, dang, um, actually no, I don't want to go to the online guild hall. Let me go to the offline one. So yeah, off camera, I did a little bit of um, hot springs upgrading and take a look. Voila! Now, the Hot Springs is able to give me 120 health and 125 stamina, so thanks for using a Hot Spring, and yeah, there we go. So I'm just gonna hit in as well, and ah. Uh, and as you can see, right over there, there's Rakuhara in the, in the offline guild hall. So, in the Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, after you've exchanged guild cards, um, yeah, this your fellow hunters would ran uh, random randomly appear or appear randomly uh, in your offline guild hall and sometimes you can talk to them and they'll give you random items which uh, may or may not be useful but <laughs> anyway so yeah so moving on let us get back down to completing the three start quests and following which the urgent quest is what I'm really excited about so right now we have to take down uh, the royal Ludroff and the far off. So both of them are very familiar. Um, we have taken them down in the multiplayer online guild hall already. So I believe Rakuhara is up to the challenge of taking them down alone. So yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's rock on. Just gonna grab all this stuff first because they are free. And why not? <laughs> Pop this ration as well. I like to sort out my items. Yeah, so it's easier to work with that way. So I'm just gonna straight away head to area 3 because that is um, where Barov most likely is going to be. And yeah, one thing to note is that previously I've used the Pierce Bow. Now I'm not using the Pierce Bow, I'm using the Rapid Bow. So why is that? Um, simply because. I believe that the Barov is not a monster that is large enough for me to effectively pierce through all my arrows, pierce all my arrow shots through him. So yeah, here's a ecology cutscene. There we have it. He's rolling the mud like a little puppy, and all covered in mud now. So yeah, um, instead of using the pierce bow, I prefer the rapid bow because it allows for more focused um, shots onto a specific part of the monster. So this helps especially when you want to break like, let's say in the in the case of the bar of his head, which is something I definitely want to break, because free items. I mean I may not have a use for the, for the items in crafting, but one way or another it's, I could sell it at some point if I don't need it really, which is um, well, Zenny is always important. So yeah, I'm just trying to focus down his head. Uh, I just missed that horribly. <laughs> so he's just coming right over here with the tail sweep. Not gonna be getting hit by that. Alrighty. Oh yes, and before I forget, I'm actually doing this recording on Christmas Day itself. Yes. How Christmassy is this? So Merry Christmas to one and all. Um, although this would actually be going out probably the day after Christmas. Oh well. Happy, I mean not happy. Belated Merry Christmas, if that's, ow, oh, damn. <laughs> is, if that is even a thing, I don't know. Oh gosh, nope, nope, just, nope. Gonna shoot him uh, in the butt, but I missed actually. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why is everything just happening so nicely for him? Alright. Just gotta... You know, wait for him to get a little bit closer into the yep, into a good range before I let my arrows loose. Oh wow. I'm off form I guess, I don't know. I'm just not hitting many stuff, hitting most of my stuff. Okay, he's coming and go oh, baby. Just gonna shoot his legs. Make him trip and fall, that's nice as well. I also like to try and break off the but the mud, um, so-called mud armor on him. 
when you do so, um, a shiny drops. So yeah, he's one of the easiest monsters to get shinies from because the moment you break one of those armor things, those mud armor on him, he will drop a shiny. But once again, be reminded that it can only happen twice per monster. So yeah, he's taunting me. Not a very good idea because I just got a free oak. Never mind, I'll take that back. He, his taunt was well played. Oh wow, I need to stop making those huge whiffs. I have to aim carefully. Yep, there goes my taunt. I'll just land another shot in his head. Nope. Not gonna fall for that this time. His patterns are pretty, pretty not predictable, but easy to dodge in the low rank. But in high rank, he's actually much faster, like most other monsters. So I'm just going to ah, uh, what? Oh my gosh, dude! Personal space, personal space. We've talked about this with like all the other monsters already. Oh, he's angry. Oh wow, wow. Uh, oh yeah. Speaking of which, he's actually one of the first few monsters to actually have a raw that would um to that would what what do you call that? Stun, yeah, like make your hunter flinch. Oh my gosh, stop stop running around me in circles, that's annoying. So yeah. So basically this is actually preparing you for the other monsters that have to come, like for example Rathian or Rathalos, and other monsters that can actually cause hunters to flinch when they roll. And oh, I did break a piece of his armor there, but he did not drop a shiny. Interesting. Am I? I might have been mistaken on that 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 thing I just said earlier, I guess. Or maybe it did not break. I don't, I'm not sure. Oh well. Just um, doing my thing, shooting him with the panabras in the wall. Oh, dang! Ouch! That hurt. Oh, he's doing his um. Puppy like thing where you just not puppy anything. Oh it's really like an animal, a dog or something of that sort where he just swings his stuff over. It reminds me of my own dog. Oh he's fatigued. He's probably gonna go somewhere to grab food I guess or Yep. He's gonna burrow away. No big deal. Just follow his smoke trail where he goes. Yep. So one good thing about these borrowing monsters is that it's so easy to keep track of them. No big deal. Hmm. What's he doing here though? Oh, oh. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, here he comes with another hit, 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 butt, or hit, drill, or whatever you want to call it. If you think about it, his hit will actually make a very good tool for plowing the fuse or some shit. <laughs> Okay, he's fatigued, but he seems to still have a lot of energy to do all sorts of nonsense. Oh, okay, hit slam. Imagine he's at a rock concert. That'll be pretty epic. Like every time they they slam their heads, he's, he's definitely gonna leave like some huge dent in the ground. <laughs> but then again, I digress. Whoa. Why are the neutral cats attacking? Did I accidentally hit one of them? I guess so, I mean... Anything can happen in this kind of... Very messy fights. Oh! Something dropped a shiny. Wait, I was supposed to pay attention to where he goes. Oh, he went that way, alright. Oh, okay, first aid man. Probably from one of the white cats. Yep. They are, um, as well, a different kind of race as compared to the felines. Or, I'm not sure if they are the same race or not, but uh... Oh, whatever. <laughs> Pretty sure he went this way. Um, yep, he did. Oh, shite, there are random clauses here as well. No, no, no! Oh, ah, oh wow, I just rolled right into him. So, <laughs> I'm terrible at this game. Uh, nah. At least I let my arrows loose before he roared. Oh, nope, no sweep. No turtles. Not have. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah! Getting the armor, no armor, um, attack up. I'm really worried about the random loss, like striking me. So I'm, I'm gonna have to keep my eye on the random loss as well. Yep, there we go. There should be one more, right? Yep. Uh, okay. Oh gosh. Okay. The 
Mana Blast, I'll go in the other way. No need to worry too much. Oh, that one's coming though. He's coming right this way. Just gonna hide behind the bar off. Alright, just land some free shots. Alright. Oh, my stamina is getting a bit low. Oh, he flinched. That's a good chance for me to just run around and. What, what are you doing? Oh, damn, the Red Applause. Shite. Nope. Enough with this nonsense, Red Applause. Seriously. Oh, damn. Oh, not bad. Not bad, Barov. Well played. I still have yet to break his head, though, which is a. Uh... Oh, my gosh. Whoa. That was close. I can't really do much. Oh, did I actually hit the random boss there? Whoa, nope, I did not. I'm not too sure actually. The tail sweep, that was close. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, I broke, I broke off the... Oh, yeah, I think I... No, that's, that's, that's but just the mud armor on his head and his tail gone. His head isn't exactly broken yet, so... Still trying to work on it. It's, whoa, what the... Oh. Damn, the random boss. Why? Whoa, shoot, that was close. Anyway, I just gotta heal up really quickly here. And oh uh, no 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 oh uh, Why Renoblos? Why? Do, do you hate me that much? I guess so. Oh wow please Okay 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 that that that's gone on for long enough. You're going down. Sit down boy. Oh boy. Is, is he still not dead? Okay. Oh, okay, crap. We have this taunting. So yeah, the thing about the bar off is that in order for you to either cut off his tail or break his head, you're going to have to first remove the mud armor. The mud armor. Which is on it. Okay, where is he going? That way, alright. Fertile mud. Yep, that's a very useful item. So, fertile mud is, um... And you can't use it in any other way except for in the farm, whereby instead of using... Uh, Alright, one Fertile Mart can fertilize three rows of farm instantly. You don't even need to use like three dung or something like... Normally you need three dung, one for each row to fertilize all of your farm. But with Fertile Mart or Wyvern Dung, all you need is just one of them. Oh my gosh, oh gosh, wow wow wow, I thought he was still eating. Okay. He's a quick eater, okay, do that. So, yeah. Just going out, the jug, the juggy, stop. Man, these juggies are a nuisance. What's he doing? Taunting again? Well, free hits for me then. Nope. And not free, no free hits for you. Oh, I tripped him. Oh, definitely one hero arrow hit. I'm gonna try and land more of these shots. I really want to break his head. Oh, ouch, my poor cat. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, something is wrong with me today. Must be the festive season. I'm giving him too much leeway. Nope, Jaggy, please, nope. Oh gosh, that was close. Any of these are really, really just by the skin of my teeth. Oh, this fight is actually going on much longer than I expect. One, positive because I'm um, missing a lot of shots. Two, um, I'm just bad. Yeah, so both just equates to me being bad. Uh, oh, oh my god, would, would you would you mind the personal space? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Just stay somewhere right over there. Oh, he's limping. He's limping. Okay, okay. Um, damn it. Can't really do anything. He's running away there. So yeah, I believe there should have been a shiny that dropped earlier, but I'm not sure. Usually when um, monsters feast to recover their stamina, they usually would drop a shiny. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly and try my best to break his head before he dies. Uh, no, stop, stop. Give me my personal space. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Nope. Okay.
Okay, so I actually don't remember how easy or how hard it is to break his head, but well, I I'm trying. And he's doing that weird nonsense again where he's getting close to you. Yep. I'm raining arrows because I, I want to land shots on his head, and when I can't, I'll just use arrow rain instead of the regular shot. Which is quite pointless if you ask me because I'm not even landing most of it. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I finished it right there. Is he gonna be taunting again? Yep. I'm gonna take this chance to just launch some freeze on him. Oh. My poor cat, though. Received that elemental debuff. Thankfully, though, this guy doesn't do any elemental damage. But the Panabras are still annoying, nonetheless. Ah. Okay, just going to quickly try and... Oh, come on! Nope! That was a very close one. Not close enough. Oh, uh, that was a bad one. For me. So... Oh my... No! Wow, that was so close. I should not have drawn my bow there. That was a really, really bad and risky play. So is he gonna taunt again? Yep, he's gonna taunt. And he's angry again. Oh, damn it. So yeah, um, as I said, this is one of the first monsters that introduce you the introduce to hunters the concept of being flinched when a monster roars. So we've got to be extra careful knowing how to keep our distance and uh, it actually it actually sort of encourages hunters to know how to roll through it if you have like if you're very very good at evading. Otherwise, um, it would be good for hunters to get the skill um, what's that called? Hearing or oh, earplugs, yeah earplugs. No, no, please don't roll. Oh crap. Now I can't break the head without having first going through the armor again. Ah, You're annoying. I don't like this barrel. He's being unfair. And I don't exactly do the most oh, oh okay. I don't exactly do the most amount of damage right now. Considering that oh wow. That was all I took. Alright, alright. I'll take it. I didn't get to break his head, but whatever. He's dead. He's down. That's good. All good. Fine by me. Alrighty. So this episode took way longer than I expected. <laughs> but in any case, um so Instead of going for the other quest, I guess we'll take a walk around the farm, or... Oh, I've got something to show you guys actually. I'm actually going to hire a few more cats, and I actually hired one already. Reason being that um, I actually have the option to upgrade my farm to be able to have the... Um, the... I can't remember what's it called. But basically it's similar to the Meowster Hunters on... For You. Monster Hunter for you, where you send your cats out to do uh, a mission and they'll come back with certain items. So, I would like to have a couple more cats and uh, train them up and have them be able to help me get some items that way as well. And naturally, I wouldn't want to send um, both my cats that are currently with me. I would want to level them up first and then have them lead the hunting party out there in the future and have other 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 cats follow me around. I mean either ways it, it really depends. So there we go. Yes I would like to save. Okay, first thing to do when you ever whenever you're back in Yukumo village from a hunt is to check for the hot spring egg. Oh there's nothing. Sad. Anyway, um let's see. I do not have much points, but yep, Monyan Wagon. This is the one that I was referring to. I will not be getting it just yet because I do not have enough um, cats to really help out in this in this feature. So I'm just gonna leave it as, leave it as it is. But what I would like to do is show you guys um, what I mean by the fertile mud being very very useful. So first off, let me just um, harvest all these. Alright, a lot of snow herbs, very nice. 
I don't know why I picked up the insect husk there for, but okay. <laughs> so, um, if I'm not wrong, the insect husk is literally one of the most useless items in game because they cannot be used for anything. If I'm not wrong, but please do correct me if you do know of one of their users. And they can be sold for like basically almost worth nothing, so yeah. So anyways, alright. As I was saying, as you can see, the roll level on the right hand side, as in right beside none, it says 1 for each uh, for each roll right now. So if I put in dung for a certain roll, it will increase the level 3, which is the highest. If I use worms, it's just level 2, but I can increase it again to 3 with another worm. So yeah, so that's how you fertilize the farm. The higher the level, the more rewards you're going to get from um, planting stuff. So usually what most people do is just put one dung in each row, you get to three levels essentially. But if you use wyvern dung or fertile mud, you just max it out entirely. There you go, just like that. So right now I'm just going to use the fertile dung I have and um, toss in, I do have quite a bit of antidotes, not antidotes, um, herbs. Antidote herbs I could use a bit more, um, so can I use more of the hot pepper and snow herbs. So yeah. There we go, and so that is the entire concept of fertilizing your land. So the Monyan wagon would actually be over here if I actually get it, and yeah, so there I can actually upgrade my fishing pier soon, but I will not be doing it just yet because, as I said, um, fishers do not serve much purpose for a bow user. They are more useful for bow gunners. Mm -hmm. So. Yep, one more last thing before we go is cats. I currently have a third cat, if you did, if you kept caught it like earlier on screen, I'm not sure if it's actually on screen, but I requested for more cats, and yes, I would like to have more cats, essentially, for the Monyan, Monyan wagon, so um, let's see, I would like to get cats which are Chansey is good, Cunning is good. I think that Chansey and Cunning are probably the best kind of cats because Chansey is if monsters are in dying state, shock, flinch, etc, the feline will attack rapidly so it's a great burst of damage when um, let's say you stun a monster or you trap a monster etc. For Cunning is um, it basically helps the hunter especially like bow users or ranged people or when you're in trouble um, they will start attracting and taunting the monster, and so the monster hits towards them, and you have a chance to either attack from afar, or heal yourself up. So yeah, which is the both of which are very very useful. So at this point, uh, I would like to get... I believe I have one Chansey one already, so I'm going to get a Cunning one. Um, but I also like to get get it off a nice target. Uh, I, I, I selected the attack style to be melee and boomerang, because melee... Um, actually allows them to be able to cut off tails, which is something that bows are unable to do so in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. As in, they are able to do, but just horrendously difficult. You have to actually melee attack the tail with your arrows, which is honestly quite ridiculous. So, yeah. So, alright, let's see. Um, large first chance. This, this, oh, oops. this guy has a very nice blue color. This guy, I'm, I'm completely just looking at the colors first. <laughs> so, ooh, nice. No, I, I do have a Chansey one already, so um, I guess I'm gonna go for blue. Yeah, I'm gonna go for, go for this guy. No, wait, I need cunning, don't I? Yeah, I need cunning. Wait, wait, so you mean that's all I have? No, I am sad. Ah, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I can't change their colors, can I? I can't. I don't think I can. Well, this pink one it is. <laughs> Let's see. I would like to change its name to... Definitely not Persian, that sounds so boring. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna like, name them based on their color, I guess. Let's go pink. I, A, and K. 
Pinky, yep, Pinky. No. Pinky. Yeah. The most ridiculous name, but I don't care. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Hold on. Why is the font so weird? No, this is not the name I wish for it. Let, let me just redo this. English Fu Oh, oh. I think I swapped it to some weird stuff back then. Alright. My apologies, just going to go back to do this. Um, Yes, I hope this... Yes, I'll like that. So yeah, uh, let me just quickly head back to the farm to show you guys what they're up to. Okay. Now loading. I love this loading screen by the way, it has so many monsters all scattered all over and if you can identify every single one of them, that's amazing. So anyways, as you can see here is um, Gajin Hunter and Arax training very very hard. This one is still sleeping because I haven't given it anything to do. And I've given I've gotten this new cat, Kuro. Um, well, Kuro for black. Some training to do, so yeah. Let me just give them training. Um, sit up, swinging, boxing, rest. Nope, no resting. I'm just gonna give you let's see. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give this guy Oh boxing is good actually. Sit up, defense. Now give this one box. Oh, they can both go boxing. Sure, fine. That's that let that, that then. <laughs> and oh yeah, skills. So the skills, um, cats can learn skills which are quite useful as you can see, armor fluid, demon fluid and all this kind of stuff. So I'm currently just saving up points. Uh, I'm not really going to give them any more skills to learn for now because um, yeah, because there are better skills that I've yet to discover which takes a lot of points. So i just given them the basic armor fluid and demon fluid. So that is uh, not too bad already and that is all so here you have my felines training very very hard to be of use in the future so yep thank you all for watching um, it's been quite a boring second half but not to worries we'll try and have more excitement in the future episodes and thank you all for watching like comment subscribe if you really enjoy what I do and um, once again Merry Christmas belated or not and uh, have a great one. MH Gate signing out.